Hey, it's Jake in California again. Uh, we're going to continue on for the next part of building a uh, counterflow wart chiller. Um, we demonstrated how we cut the ends off the hose. And I showed you how to turn that hose into a usable hose. You know, we went ahead and screwed on these ends. And these are a hose repair kit that you can get from Home Depot or one of the similar home stores. And I told you how we can turn this leftover hose into something that you can actually use outside with your um, with your new kit here. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to screw this into the hose bib on the outside of the house and the water is going to come through here. And what you're actually going to do is on your new chiller you're just going to screw this on here. So and then it will run through the coil and that's how you're going to cool your beard out. Alright so there's our extra hose, uh, wife pleasing project. Um, make sure you have some secondary use for all this beer making stuff that you're doing. And it's not just money down the drain, um, as some people say. So what we have here left over for our project is 20 feet of rubber hose, 20 feet of copper coil, and miscellaneous hardware. Now I keep saying miscellaneous hardware, let me go ahead and show you what I mean by that. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking these copper fittings and we're going to be soldering them together into a usable uh, outlet for our chiller. The uh, concept of the chiller is pretty simple. You solder on some of these pieces and then basically you mount your hose on top of this. So, you know, here's the pieces that we're going to put together, and then we're going to actually stick the hose on here like this. And, and then this is going to come out, this is where beer is going to come out, or water goes in, depending on which direction it is. And then you're going to actually attach your copper coil onto this. The copper coil is going to be attached to this, but it's going to be inside the rubber hose. So, that's what I mean when I say miscellaneous fittings. Now, I don't think I'm going to mess with those tonight because they are actually going to be soldered. And I have to do that with the propane torch. Now, if I do that, I'm going to have to be careful. I'm going to have to set it up. It's going to be very hot. I can't grab the pieces and go like that, so I have to set up a jig. So we'll see how if we can get to that tonight. I'll be happy if I can just get the coil into the hose. One of the big problems with with doing this sort of coil is this is refrigeration coil. This is meant to be part of a refrigerator or freezer. Um, and this is repair coil. And it's not really designed to be easily done the way we're doing it. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually stuff this inside of this. And the only way to do that is to straighten the coils out um, just make it real soapy with some kind of oil or soap and then thread it through on a proper coil and then we can weld it all together so that's what we're dealing with here I'm going to go ahead and pull this out since we're going to use it so there's my coil this is the trash put that in the rubbish bin So the next step, uh, you know, now that I think about this, I may have to do these fittings first uh, to pressure test them. So I think I'm going to do that first. So let me go ahead and get this set up. That way uh, I can get it out of the way. But that's probably the better way to go. All right, so we're going we're gonna to solder these fittings together, and then the next step will be getting that through the rubber hose.